what's going on guys Tosker here and in this video we are going to create a watermarked text box now we are going to be playing off of the converters so if you don't know what that is um, or you haven't seen my video uh, go check out the description and it should be below and then you can jump right back to this video that being said we're going to move forward so basically if you want to follow along I just have a normal application here and for the Windows content a simple stack panel, a text box, and a button. Now we're not going to really be using the button, but because the text box uh, watermark is going to kind of play off of whether or not it's focused, I figured I'll put another control in so we can focus something else. Now we're going to also be doing this through styles. So again, if you're not familiar with that, video in the description below. But we're going to go over here to our app.xaml and we're going to create a style for our text box. So zooming in here, we want to first create a style and we're going to give it a key because we're later going to reference this and we'll call it watermark uh, text box. And then we will give it a target type, which of course, since this is going to be a style for our text box, we will simply say a target of text box. Now we are going to be overriding its template to do this. So that means it will get rid of its border and its basic uh, visual properties. So what we want to do is we want to get a setter property. We want to get its basic things like a border brush. We want it to have a border and we'll make that black. And then we also want a setter for the border thickness. And we'll give that a value of one. Now again, we're doing this because right now we're going to then do the setter property and we're going to access its template and we're going to override this. So opening and closing of that, we then want to get the setter value. And inside here, we have to actually provide something no different than a data template if you've watched those videos as well. So in this case, we're going to create a control template and we're going to give it a target type like we did above of text box and open that tag up as well and now inside here is basically going to be what our text our new text box is going to be composed of now since we set the border uh, properties above we want to also now create a little border here and we'll give it a background and this is where we're going to use what is called template binding. So it's going to bind to the properties that we set above. So say template binding, it'll bind to the background. We then want to set a border brush. So we'll say the border brush. And of course, template binding, we will bind to the border brush. And then lastly, we want the border thickness here and we will bind that to the template border thickness. Lastly, we're just going to open up our border here into two tags. Now, basically what we're going to do next is um, we're going to have two controls kind of laid over one another. So I'll give you an example here. We're going to create a text block and this text property will say, let's say, please enter text. Now this is going to be basically the watermarked text on our text box. Um, then we also want to create, of course, our actual text box that the user will use. Now we're going to have a problem here because we are setting the child more than once. And we also, not only because of that, but because we want these two to overlay, we want to actually put them within a grid. Because a grid, they're just going to be in the same default spot. And I'll copy and paste this up here. They're going to be in the same default spot unless we define some rows and columns. So this will provide us with the overlay. Now, in order to get the watermark feel of going away when focused or when a value is added, all we really care about here is our text block, and we want to use a converter to change its visibility at appropriate times. So with that being said, we want to go over here to our solution, and we could traditionally um, simply add a folder, but I suppose in this case we'll simply create a class. And in this case, we will call it, let's say, going to call it bool to visibility converter. And we'll simply add that. 